much I do not like it, um, but, yeah, I just don't like it. Um, alright. Look at this. This thing. What the hell is this thing? Next question comes from Jason Kai. How many seasons of Mesozoic Isle is there going to be? There are going to be three seasons, and I'm not pulling a, uh, a Bionicle source. There is no, never going to be like a season four type thing where I'm just going to reinvigorate it. Um, it's planned three seasons. It's very structured to be a three-part story, and that's it. It's 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 not going to be any more. But uh, good question, good question. Uh, next question also comes from Jason Kai. When will Mesozoic Isle season two come out? Well, if everything goes along with schedule, it will be towards the end of next season year. Look, he's eating a broom. Why don't you stop being a freaking incompetent little squabble brain piece of crap? Next uh, question, well this isn't really a question, it's just another comment that I just decided to throw in here. Well, it's from J-R-M-C-S-A-S-S-A-M -S 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 backwards E. I don't know how to say that. Um, and he says, nobody likes Megalosaurus but me. And I'm pretty sure, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure this is the same guy who made a Me Megalosaurus comment on my top 10 collecta videos or something like that, like for 2019 or something. And I'm pretty sure this is also the same guy that comments a bunch on Spino Dude's channel about Megalosaurus. So clearly he's very obsessed with Megalosaurus, which is really cool. I think Megalosaurus is a very unique animal, and if that's your favorite dinosaur, that is a very cool one. It's While it is the first, like, uh, described dinosaur, it's not too popular of a dinosaur for that kind of status. However, I do not even in the slightest believe that you are the only one who likes Megalosaurus. There, there's got to be countless people out there that, that likes Megalosaurus. I think Megalosaurus is pretty cool. Um, I'm not a fan of it in particular like it's not it's a dinosaur so I guess I'm a fan of it but um, it, it, it's not in anywhere near my top 20 also he was continuing to say something about I, like nobody wants to get like the uh, like the collecta and other thing like Megalosaurus I just simply think the figures don't look good um, if there was a good Megalosaurus figure out there then I would get it but I just I have not seen a good Megalosaurus figure out there they're all just really ugly to me so that's why I don't have one sorry if hey if you want to donate me money as so that I can buy that Megalosaurus and do a review for you, I will do that. But I'm not spending my own money on it. I'm just gonna say that. So I'll leave that open for you. King Egypticus uh, is the next person who gave us question. He says, okay, we're gonna ignore all that beginning stuff. Well, actually I do wanna mention that he says, you're very welcome, Kiki. Your channel is great and you deserve all the support. Thank you so much, King Egypticus. Thank you so, so much. And you are a huge part of the people that make my life go around. Now his Q&A questions, we have three of them. He says, what is your all-time favorite character from any B.I. style series? That's a really good question, which actually took me quite a bit to answer. I have a lot of favorites. I really like Dark Claw. I like uh, Stephanie. There's a lot of really good characters out there, but I ended up having to land on Peter, the Pachyrhinosaurus from Yachtcon Island Season 1. Really love Peter. Thought he was an amazing character, even though he is gone now. Rest in peace, Peter. Uh, number two, what's your all-time favorite character from a non-D.I. style series in all of DinoTube? That is an excellent question as well, and that is easy because it's Gizzard. Gizzard is my man. Now, number three, uh, what is so freaking interesting about the Indominus Rex to you that makes it your favorite JP character of all time? I think that she has an, a very interesting set of motivations, interesting character in a lot of ways. Uh, she's a hybrid, she's a bad what she represents um, in terms of like the, the message of the film and uh, you know how we treat animals and stuff like that I really enjoy that but she's just she's just really cool so that's, that's that's the main thing she just looks really freaking cool I mean what's the big deal about me liking something really freaking cool I, I just think that Indominus Rex is awesome um, she also kicks Rexy's butt which is awesome because if she kicks Rexy's butt then I'm all game all right next question is uh, Matt uh, does it 
Dzedzik. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that last name. He says, what is your favorite figure that's a dinosaur? And I'm, I, I did specify with him, um, he, he does mean like favorite dinosaur figure just in my collection. My favorite one would have to be the, the secret project from Kayakosaurus, but other than that, it would have to be the Vitae Gignotosaurus. But that was, it was really hard for me to choose, but the, I think the Vitae Gignotosaurus is just, it just gets an edge on that. Um, if we're not including the Kayakosaurus one, because I can't show that to you guys. Hey, Loki, snap. Here it is, for eye candy. <laughs> Alright, so our next question comes from Raptors Are Awesome. Question. What is your favorite and least favorite figure in your collection from Schleich, Safari, Papo, Carnegie, Collecta, China Source, and other, the other companies in your collection? So we already kind of answered this a little bit, but I am just going to go through and show you them all. Safari LTD, uh, favorite, 2017 Chronosaurus, least favorite, 2005 Dodicarus. Carnegie, 2008 Spinosaurus is my favorite, and least favorite is the 1996 Carnotaurus. Collecta, favorite is the 2016 Torvosaurus, Least favorite is the 2009 Tar Tarbosaurus. Papo, favorite is 2006 Allosaurus. Least favorite is 2011 Styracosaurus. Schleich, favorite is 2018 Zetacosaurus. Least favorite is the 2004 Dinosuchus. PNSO, my favorite is the baby T Rex. And my least favorite is the baby Triceratops, because these are my only two in my collection. So I love them both, but this one has to be my least favorite because I like this one slightly more. Favorite code, same similar situation. Only have two figures and my favorite one is the Styracosaurus, so the Triceratops is slightly under. Terra by Batat, favorite one is the T-Rex, least favorite is the Cerata. For Vitae, my favorite is the Vitae Giganotosaurus, and my least favorite is the Vitae Giganotosaurus, because I only have one. <laughs> and then for Mojo, my favorite is this Triceratops, and my least favorite is this Triceratops, because I only have one. Then for Recur, my favorite is this Dinosuchus, and my least favorite is this Dinosuchus. <laughs> China stores are so difficult because I have so many of them, but I just have a, like five of them up on the shelf. So out of those, my favorite would be this Tyrannosaurus here, and my least favorite would be this Dryosaurus slash Camptosaurus looking Iguanodon thing. Next uh, comes from Refrigerator Apples. LOL, just as I'm getting finished with watching your collection vid, this pop uh, this pops up in my notifications. What a breath of fresh air. I think the best and favorite addition is Spino Dude's art. It really caught my eye. Speaking about art, my question for you is, are you any good at art? If so, I'd love to see some. Anyways, great video and keep up the awesome work, man. Thank you for the lovely comment, uh, Refrigerator Apples. That actually means a lot to me. And yes, the, the art from Spino Dude is really, really awesome. And uh, yes, I do, I am a, um, a pretty good artist. And um, yeah, I can show you a little bit of my art just so that it's easier. I'll grab some of my more recent stuff to show you. Made this on August 4th. It is a, a little Hell Creep landscape um, with an Archaeoraptor and a Tyrannosaurus in the background. Um, so there's that. Um, then we also have this uh, Allosaurus I drew recently. Uh, it was a little bit of an artistic, uh, like a lion art style to it and stuff. And then I recently made a Jurassic Park style Coelophysis for Spino Dude's Instagram Dino Challenge for Jurassic World. And I actually colored that for the like first time I did pretty good uh, coloring. So Now I am on Instagram though, um, so if you're interested in seeing more of my pictures, uh, go follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description. Um, and I'll show, I show more of my drawing stuff on Instagram there. I also have a lot of like human drawings, but I'm not gonna show those for various reasons. And we're back outside. Spino Guy slash Spino Slash, Spinosaur Slasher asks, uh, will you do a reaction to the Godzilla King of the Monsters trailer? Simple answer, no. I've already seen it, um, so it'd be a fake reaction. Um, I just simply couldn't wait. Um, I was actually up in the mountains and we didn't have any service um, and I knew it was going to be coming out because we knew that the Warner Brothers panel was sitting there so every time we passed through a town or we got a little bit of glimpse of a Wi-Fi signal we boomed onto the iPad in the, um, the car and we waited for the, the trailer and I just watched it as soon as I got to. We drove through a city um, at the perfect time so yeah I'm not going to do that because I already, I already saw it. Who would win in a fight? Sorofaganax or Torvosaurus? I like Torvosaurus more. Sorofagnax is such a confusing um, whole argument thing. 
However, based if we base it off of Allosaurus, Allosaurus is pretty agile. It's got really robust arms um, and a pretty flexible head. So I'm, I'm actually going to put the money on Sorafa Agnax here because um, I just think that it'd be very versatile and pretty intimidating predator. Number three, how's school life? Because today is actually my last day of summer. Ah, oh, that sucks. I feel it, man. That that sucks. I, I hate going back to school. Um, however, I don't have to worry about that anymore because I'm not in school anymore. I am 18. I'm pretty sure I've said this multiple times. I am 18. I'm going to be going on 19. Hey, Loki, could you not dig a hole in the yard, dude? Loki. But I'm going on 19. I'm out of school and I'm currently not enrolled in any college. Number four, what is your opinion on JWFK? I don't like it. I, I could make a whole feature length film talking about all of the specific problems that I could digest and go critically and just tear that film apart just how much I do not like it. Yeah, I just don't like it. Um, all right. Look at this. This thing. What the hell is this thing? Hey, Coco, don't you dig? Look what you're doing, Loki. You're making your mom dig. Oh, my freaking God. Talk about bad influences. Uh, the Gaming Smilodon asks, Kiki Zola, hey, could you react to the trailer for my series, Prehistoric Survival? Also, I'm going to Kansas over the winter break, so probably won't be able to uh, to the hospital at the Denver, stop at the Denver Museum. He was just telling me a little bit about um, the museum. He actually comes out here um, so we could possibly hang out at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science someday. And then he says, what is your favorite figure and what's your most expensive figure? My favorite figure is the one from Kayakasaurus yet it can't, it can't show that, so we'll just say the Vitae Gignosaurus. And yet again, the Vitae Gignosaurus is the most expensive figure in my collection, barely beating out the one that Kayakasaurus made for me. Um, his was just a little bit uh, cheaper than the Vitae one. Uh, but also, I do want to mention the fact that he was saying something about doing a reaction, because a lot of people have been wanting me to do reactions to their series, and I'd really love to. And so since uh, this is our 500 subscriber special thingy, um, I actually want to do a 500 subscriber live stream. Um, so soon after this video comes up, um, um, I'm gonna try to do a 500 subscriber live stream and I'd love to sit down and just do a reaction to a couple of your videos So if you guys if there are a couple suggestions you guys want me to react to something or if there's a couple um, People's like your videos or something. that are really interesting that I should react to Please give suggestions down below the ones that have the most likes down in the comment section below Will are the ones that will um, will do reactions to or that are just uh, really interesting to me because we can't do everything But we'll do live reactions to them in the 500 subscriber uh, uh, special live stream and that that's it I apparently that's that's all I have on this so that was that was that was a lot of work okay anyways so I do want to thank you guys so so much for just watching this video especially if you watched all the way through holy crap I can only imagine this video was like 20 minutes long or something like that but I hope you guys enjoyed that was really fun reading through all your questions that are just laying on the rocks now um but I do want to thank every each and every single one of you who had your name displayed in the, uh, this video here because you all asked questions which helped make this video possible which I really really did enjoy making really hope that you guys enjoyed all of this I hope you guys really enjoy the stuff that is to come I am working really hard on some new stuff for you guys some new projects we have some big announcements coming up on the channel soon and i'm going to be doing that 500 subscriber special uh live stream keep an eye out for that if you have any suggestions for that please leave them in the comment section below like any comments that you have that you like the suggestions or anything that you want to see me react to on the, the live stream and i will catch you guys in the next one um blah, blah. What's that? Oh, you, you thought I forgot to thank you for 500 subscribers again? How, how, how bad of me would that be to do something like that? Well, I mean, I guess I might as well do it now, so thank you for 500 subscribers!